Welcome back. Problem 1-94. This problem is taken from chapter number 1 that is stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the aluminum bracket A is used to support the centrally applied load of 8 kip. If it has a constant thickness of 0 0.5 inch, determine the smallest height h in order to prevent a shear failure. The failure shear stress is 23 KSI. KSI use a factor of safety for shear of 2.5 so you can see this is bracket at aluminium bracket at a and this is applied by axially uh, uh, load of 8 kips clear so you can see this is the load which is applied centrally 8 kips load the thickness of this bracket is this thickness is uh, 0 0.5 inch and this height is h so you have to find the minimum height h in order to prevent the failure so let's start with the solution so if you take the frontal view of this bracket a so you will find it like this is this will be the rectangular one clear so this will be the thickness which will be 0 0.5 inch and this will be the height h so we are going to find this height h now you can see that uh, uh, this uh, bracket is centrally applied by a vertical centrally axial, axial load of 8 kips and this 8 kips will cause the shear in this so shear stress or shear force will be like this one clear we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive in order to find this shear force so minus 8 kips plus shear force v is equal to 0 so from here you will get this shear force will be equal to 8 kip now you have this shear so we know that sharing stress or allowable sharing stress is equal to shear force divided by sharing area so shear force is 8 kips and divided by sharing area is this one which is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by the height h i get is 8 kips will convert it into 8 into 10 raised to power 3 it will be pounds divided by 0 0.5 h this is your equation number one now we know that factor of safety factor of safety which is represented as f o s is equal to failure failure sh shear stress divided by allowable shear stress so failure shear stress is given as 23 ksi so 23 into 10 to power 3 divided by allowable and this factor of safety is given as 2.5 so 2.5 is equal to 23 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by ta allowable. So ta allowable will be equal to 23 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2.5. Let this is equation number 2. Now equate equation 1 and 2. So you will get equation 1 is this one which is equal to 8 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 0 0.5 h is equal to 23 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2.5. So from here this h will be equal to 8 into 10 raised to power 3 multiply by 2.5 divided by 0 0.5 multiply by 23 into 10 to the power 3 so when you solve this you will get the height will be equal to 1.74 inch so this is the required minimum height h will be 1.74 inch and that was all about this problem 1-94. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. 
if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching